Good morning. Last night I didn't fall asleep until around 3 in the morning. I woke up at 4am, headphones still in, laptop still on, on my lap, lights on, fully clothed, at 4am. Um, now it's 9. I can't wait to fix my sleep schedule and get back to my 6am. It's actually minus 4 degrees today. My lecture actually starts quite soon, but I'm just moseying about. Final step is sunscreen. Even though there is no sun. Today it is well below freezing and I can tell, definitely. I need to quickly put on some extra layers because I'm going to meet my boyfriend to do some Christmas shopping. He's already on the way, so I'm adding on this jumper knit underneath my hoodie and coat. Oh, I know this hat doesn't match, but I don't care. I don't care what I look like. I just want to be warm. Coat back on. Final thing is a scarf. <laughs> I am sure I look ridiculous. Get everything in. I look a little bit crazy and I won't lie. Look at this. But I probably won't even be warm. I'm ready. Whew. My boyfriend wants a hat, so I'll take him this one. Hopefully it fits his head. Let's go do some Christmas shopping. Here is the final fit.
Good evening. So far I have tidied all the washing, made dinner for me and my boyfriend. I tried to make subtitles for my YouTube videos but it wasn't working so I'm going to try again later. I booked a train ticket home and now I'm making a Spotify version of the Apple Music community playlist I made which I've been listening to so often all day and I love it. I had a lovely day, I did a lot of Christmas shopping, I have a few things I want to get tomorrow still, but most of it is done. I tried to buy from small businesses mainly and I think I succeeded in that so I'm quite happy. I only have one lecture left in this semester which feels crazy. One more shop to go to and then I'm going home having lunch and I'll show everything that I've gotten. I'm making pesto pasta again. I don't 
don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I think this is the eighth day in a row. I just love it. What can I say? Born in one convenient place. My name is Lucien and... Good afternoon. It is 3.30 p.m. but I am ready for bed. I still have quite a lot I wanted to get done today. I have a video to edit and I've got some uni things to go through. I'm in the lab for the first day tomorrow so I need to pack my bag for that, make sure I'm not forgetting anything and I also have a meeting tomorrow morning. A few things on my mind but I'm glad I have now finished my Christmas shopping. I did want to show some of the gifts I bought for my family. Part of me felt a bit uncomfortable doing it because especially this year in the UK there is a big cost of living crisis. I still wanted to share some of the things I got but I don't think I'll go over everything because it just did feel a bit in poor taste when I know Probably so many people are struggling and I'm here like, look at what I bought! <laughs> I just wanted to make a little note and say, of course Christmas does make you think about gift giving, but really I think the best part about it is getting to spend time with each other and I hope that everybody gets to spend some nice quality time with their friends or family and if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a good end to your year and I hope if anybody wasn't able to buy gifts this year for their loved ones that you realise that people value you a lot more than they do gifts you could buy. I think if somebody is worth having as a friend then they'll be understanding anyway, so... First of all, I went to the market and I spoke to a lovely woman who was a beekeeper and she was selling her own honey and she knew so much about it. it always warms my heart when people very clearly love their job and are passionate about it. I bought two types of honey from her. These are for my dad because he loves honey and so do I so I'm hoping when I'm home he opens these so I can have some because I tried a sample and they were very nice. So this is just clear honey and I also got whipped honey which was very sweet. The woman who sold me these knew all about the flowers that went in there and I don't feel like I know enough about honey to understand. It's sort of like when people talk about coffee beans and where they came from and I'm kind of like, I don't know what you mean but I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Definitely recommend. Lovely woman that made this. She was so kind and I can't wait to gift these to my dad. Pale Ale and IPA. I thought the packaging was amazing. Is actually for me but I couldn't resist because it is so cute. It is a little Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> Next thing is for my Tide which is the Welsh word for grandfather. I got him some fudge because he has a very sweet tooth so I got butterscotch. This Maltesers one called Malted Madness. This cookie dough which has a whole cookie on it. I couldn't believe it and they look like cake. I bought these from a man at the market and he said that his wife makes them and she is a chocolatier and she just loves making fudge and now it's her job so I thought that was lovely. They do have a website so I'm very jealous that I didn't get any for myself. This next gift is for my granny who has multiple sclerosis which is a disease that affects the nerves and makes it difficult to move your muscles. Because she is in a wheelchair she gets very bad circulation in her legs especially her hands. She's always a little bit chilly so I got her these handmade crochet headband and mittens. <laughs> She typically has her hair up so I thought this could go around it and not get in the way and then it's kind of a hassle to have to take off your gloves a lot especially if your fingers don't work that well so I thought mittens were perfect and they're lined with a lovely fleece. I think crochet is such a beautiful art form and they even have little thumb holes 
my nine, which is the Welsh word for grandmother, was asking me to get something for me from her because she didn't know what to get me. This is perfume from a brand called Tad and Belle. The fragrance I got is called Cosmopolitan. I got the largest size. The top notes are coffee and almond. The heart is white sandback jasmine and tuberose. And the base is cocoa and tonka bean. So it's quite a sweet fragrance. I went to the market and the man sprayed some on my wrist. I went home and then I smelt my wrist and I was like, oh, I should have got that. And I checked their website and they didn't have it. So I went all the way back and thank God he was there. And I was like, please can I have this? I was telling him how good it was and how impressed I was. <laughs> and he was so lovely and he gave me a little cherry lip balm with a cat on it for free. <laughs> If you have the means to do so, or you were interested in anything I showed, then I will put links in the description where I can. The rest of the evening, I think I'm going to edit my video for tomorrow, do some uni work. Things are definitely slowing down. Okay, I'm gonna get to work now. I feel quite nauseous, and I don't think staring at the computer for a few hours helped, but I got it done, so I'm happy. Oh. A lot of the time when I finish a video, I'm entirely unsure of if I hate it or not. It happens every single time I upload, so I'm just trying to ignore it and just accept that the video is done. But I just keep thinking, oh, I should have changed this or added that. And yeah, it's a bit frustrating. <laughs> I have no idea why I feel so ill. Maybe it was that vegan sausage I had yesterday. I've kind of felt ill since then. Maybe. No, it's been too long. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Don't want to complain. I'm sure I'll feel better in a minute, so. yesterday. Honestly my best guess is I think I was suffering from some confusion because I was dehydrated from having food poisoning. Um, I will say it was only very slight food poisoning, it wasn't awful but I do think I was dehydrated and I think that made me confused. <laughs> And it was pretty scary, I won't lie. I didn't really know what was going on and I, I just felt very unsafe. I didn't know what was happening, but I feel fine now. Today is actually sort of busy. I have a meeting this morning and then I'm in the lab for a few hours. This is my first lab session of my research project. So I was stressing yesterday. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to go because I'd be ill or something, but I'm fine. So in my bag, this is a notebook used in the lab. My iPad, my lab coat in here in a bag, my safety goggles and my calculator. And then I've got my pencil case, a hair clip because your hair has to be up. I'm gonna head out now. I have about an hour until my meeting, but wanted to get a pastry on the way, sit somewhere and get some work done, so. That is my plan, hoping to get a lot of uni stuff done today before the term ends. I've been focusing a lot on Christmas shopping the last two days and this is meant to be a uni vlog, so today, today is a uni day. I'm sorry it's taken three days to get here, but here we are. I'm gonna drink a lot of water before I go because we can't have any food or drink in the lab and I don't want to get dehydrated, so. I also understand it must look like I'm wearing the same outfit every day. I'm just really cold and I want to be warm so I'm kind of not caring about how I look. If that entails wearing the, the same outfit every day then it's fine. It, it's going to be minus five degrees like Oh, 
it is such a beautiful day, but it's so cold and so icy. <laughs> I wanted to go to the library but I don't have a pen and you're not allowed to write in a lab book and pencil so I want to buy a gift for the staff in my building so I'm going to try and find some chocolates or something I got the biscuits because I think there's more in there so I hope everybody likes them <laughs> Good night. Good afternoon. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, it's so chilly. I successfully delivered my biscuits. <laughs> I had my lab session. It's fine. It took about two and a half hours, but I'm glad it's done. I do have a big headache, so I'm going to have some water. It's currently quarter to three. Everything went fine. I luckily was able to borrow a pen from a lovely librarian. I'm so thankful I got a good rest last night. I slept a solid 11 hours, I'd say, which I definitely needed. I'd say for the past month and a half, I've been consistently getting maybe five and a half, six hours of sleep and I feel now that I've caught up on it all. I feel almost as if I've finished for Christmas. However, I do have a lecture tomorrow. However, that lecture has been moved online. So I kind of do feel like I've finished for the year. Perhaps I can go on another walk today. I will message my boyfriend to see if he wants to come with me but if not i will just go alone i typically am always alone i never really noticed until people started pointing it out and asking if i was lonely i a lot of the time would much rather be alone than with somebody else i'm just a very introverted person and that's just what i like i know some people might despise the thought of being alone for even a minute so it really just depends on what type of person you are. <laughs> For me, I find my social battery runs out so fast and I can't really spend a lot of time in social situations. I don't drink, I don't go out. In my entire three years at university, I've only gone out drinking two or three times and I don't ever want to drink again, so I kind of just don't. Hello? Hi! Let's go! 